Yo everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a review as well as a demo of the brand new Kat Von D Lash Liner. So what is a lash liner? Well it's in the name, yeah you're right. It's an inner liquid eyeliner is how it's described. So basically for all of you out there that like or have got no choice but to use coal on the inner rim of your eye, there is now a liquid version out there. So I have already done one eye just for the purposes of the video so you can see the difference if you're wondering why one side kind of looks a little bit different to the other. My makeup's not fully finished, I've just left this area. So what do I think of this? I got mine from Debenhams in the UK. I paid 17 pounds for it, which is pricey for something such as this, but it is Kat Von D and I guess those are her standard prices. Mine is in the shade Trooper Black, so it's just black. But what they've got on their website is, Lash Liner revolutionizes the way you line your eyes with an innovative new long wear water resistant formula specially designed for the waterline a notoriously difficult area to get extreme pigment payoff that lasts which is true finally get all the intensity of a liquid liner without any of the running smudging or raccoon eye effect associated with traditional pencil water liners lash liner glides on and quickly dries down for an all-day performance lash liners hybrid fluid gel formula contains clay binding ingredients for a richer texture than a standard liquid liner a unique formulation designed to stand up to watery eyes this super pigmented formula will set within 15 seconds or less for transfer resistant long wear lash liners soft tip applicator is custom designed to hold the perfect amount of formula so you can instantly intensify any look with extreme precision and ease now one thing I have to say is that I agree with quite a lot of their claims. It is excellent. Literally lasts all day and more. It does not rub off. It does not come off. From a non-contact lens wearer's point of view, I would give it a 10 out of 10. From a contact lens wearer's point of view as me, I give it a 7 out of 10. Now, the reason why I don't give it a 10 is because... I don't know about you guys, but I don't put in my lenses after my makeup. I need to see what I'm doing, so I put it in before my makeup. And when I'm applying it to my eyes, no, it doesn't dry within 15 seconds. That's a lie. It actually mix mixes in within the water on my waterline, which makes it quite sheer. Yes, you can build up the intensity once it dries down, which is much longer than 15 seconds. You can then apply another layer and another layer to intensify it. So don't ever think for a second that even though they have said this, whether you wear lenses or not, that it will dry within 15 seconds and it's just one application. You need to apply it about two, three times to get thick black line. The running smudging raccoon eye effect, completely agree, it does not budge. Now, the reason that I've got a slight issue with it, like I said, as a contact lens wearer, is that when I apply it, and it has got quite a thick-ish sort of applicator, which I'll show you guys in a minute, I will apply it, and I, even though you're trying not to blink, you will blink, you can't help it, even if you pull your eye down, you will still go mm, like that, and I will know, I can see little bits of black attaching itself to my contact lens. Now, I bought this on a Sunday, I wore it on Monday, and on Monday I opened up a brand new packet of contact lenses. Now, within two hours of me getting to work, I noticed that it was getting cloudy on my lenses. And I was like, is it my lenses? Is it this? I don't know. I had to keep going into the bathroom with my contact lens solution to clean them. As soon as I put them back in, carry on doing what I'm doing, it would happen again. And it happened on the Monday and the Tuesday. On the Wednesday, I decided not to use this to see whether it was actually this that was the cause or I had faulty lenses in. I used my normal coal liner. Didn't give me any problems. Same on the Thursday, no problems. This is the first time I'm wearing it since then. Now, it hasn't started to affect me yet. I've had it on for about 20 minutes, but that is something that I need you guys to be aware of if you do wear contact lenses. Even though it has dried, it's still on your waterline and your eyeballs and whatever are still gonna kind of touch it and interfere with it in terms of the water from your eyes. So it says it's a super pigmented formula that will set in 15 seconds or less. No, I would say at least 30 seconds to a minute. And I'd like to see how many of you guys can just stay like that. If you wear contact lenses, no, you can't just go like that because your eyes start to dry out, your lenses start to dry out. Transfer resistant long wear, yes. I would definitely say yes. Now don't get me wrong, in comparison to coal pencil liners, this is excellent. I do not have to re reapply it at all whatsoever. And 
even though it was getting on my contact lenses when I would remove them put them back in yeah there was a lot of water and messiness it still did not rub off it still stayed on my eyes so in that respect I was very very impressed so like I said if you don't wear contact lenses 10 out of 10 if you do a 7 but I've given you the reasons why so it's up to you to whether or not you want to make that informed choice to spend 17 pounds on this and then have to worry about carrying contact lens solution with you which I don't actually do I had to go and buy some so that was an additional five pounds I'd spend and then waste time in the middle of my working day running backwards and forwards to the bathroom to clean my lenses I don't have time for that kind of nonsense so anyway so that is my review let me just show you guys what the actual applicator itself looks like before I go into the demo so this is what the actual thing looks like like a torture instrument long and needly and then when you open it up you can see that it is like a dofa applicator it's flat on that side and then you twist it round and it's more narrow so it is a little bit thicker than I would like in terms of hygiene and if you're a makeup artist you may want to use another brush to take the product off with it and then apply it to your client's eye and then that is how it looks like just on bare dry skin not wet skin so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom up uncomfortably close and I am going to show you how to apply this. Now they do give their own way of applying it because they have to because it can be confusing when you see something like this. So what they say is gently pull down the skin under your eye to expose the waterline. See I don't like to do things like that because that's what encourages under eye creasing which encourages bags and fine lines and pulling at that area. I'm not a fan but anyway it says dib and dab it's that easy dip, dip the applicator in the formula wipe off the excess um, if you wipe off the excess you're wiping off most of the product by the way and then you'll have to layer it five times dab along the waterline until you achieve your desired level of intensity keep holding and avoid blinking for 15 seconds until liner sets completely you won't know that it's set we're gonna do touch it and check you'll poke yourself in the eye as Kat Von D created this eyeliner because she loves the makeup look of eyeliner on the waterline but hasn't been able to find a long-lasting eyeliner that performs she spent four years formulating and testing dozens of different formulas and finally landed a lash liner uh, I don't know if Kat Von D wears contact lenses but I'm gonna assume she doesn't because otherwise just saying all right unfortunately this is as far as my camera will zoom in so it's gonna take this remove some of the excess pull down my eyes are already getting ready in anticipation because they know what's coming I've already poked myself in the eye, can you see? And it's burning my eye a bit as well, which is something that I forgot to mention. Burning. Ooh, not a lot, not uncomfortably so, but, and I've managed to get bits of it on my contact lenses. It is darker on that side. I don't know if you can tell them that side. Because that part of your eye kind of swoops up. That one isn't as much affected as the rest of your eye. And now because it's quite sheer, I'm going to go in again. Because I need to layer it. It's been 15 seconds, right? Is it dry? No. All right, I'm just going to kind of hold it and mess up my under eye concealer while I do it, for God's sake. I don't know about you guys, but I tend to do my eye makeup after my foundation and concealer. Right, I'm letting go, because it's sweaty in here. Look at that, that just came off from my eyes, from my lens. And I don't know about you guys, I don't like to touch my lens. That's what. That's how you get infections and things, touching your dirty hands into your eyes. And I'm having to clean off my lens because it won't just come off on its own. So again, that's why it gets a 7 rather than a 10 from my point of view as a contact lens wearer. Because this one is dry, now I can add to it as well. But the thing is, it also clogs into your eyelashes. Because it's quite a thick brush, it's not that thin. It'll go and clog your eyelashes. So when you then go to apply your lower lash mascara, it's going to be very difficult to kind of move them around because your eyelashes are not smooth and clear. They've got product in them. So let me just finish off my eye makeup. Let me just do the rest and then I will be back in a moment. Okay, so I am back. I've finished off my makeup. 
but as you can see my eyes are still a little bit glossy a little bit red looking it does not burn per se like something that's gone off but there is definitely a feeling of something chemical in my eye and after about 10-15 seconds it does go away and I think that has got something to do with the fact that it's something that's going inside your eye it is a chemical at the end of the day but like I said I stand by a 10 out of 10 for those of you that don't wear contact lenses you'll absolutely love it for those of you that wear contacts like me 7 out of 10 you are going to find that you get annoyed and sometimes you will have issues with it sometimes you will sometimes you won't I guess it's just one of those things you've got to kind of get used to wearing it as well I would per probably use like a lash light like a, one of those tiny little pencils that you can use for like angled ones because it's a lot thinner and I've got a lot more control whereas this is quite fat even though it's narrow it's still fat and flat um, there is still the possibility that you can get it on your lower lash line where you don't want it to go and then you can't get it off because it has got amazing stay power. Now that I've got it on, it will remain like this up until I remove it later on this evening. So that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you found this useful and let me know if you guys are going to think about getting it or if you've tried it so far what your thoughts are. If you've got any other suggestions for me maybe or of different ways to wear it or to share it with other people who also view this video make sure that you link your comment below. Um, on my lips I'm wearing Huda Beauty's Demi Matte in the shade Mogul and other than that I hope you guys are wonderful and great and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!